Okay, so first thing before sampling, we want to pause the robot. So we'll go up here to box ID. Sometimes it's easier to use a time with these screens, and we'll put it in service, which then closes the gate and not allows, doesn't allow a cow to come in. For our purpose today, we're going to put it back in automatic mode so we can have a cow come in. Then what we'll do is once the robot's paused, we want to uh, we want to hook the shuttle up. So this here where it says shut. If we hit this, that'll open the sampling valve down below. Now that's highlighted, it's open the open the sampler up, the valve below. Now we're going to hook the shuttle up to the uh, Bomatic robot here, and everything is on the outside. What we're going to do is we're going to plug our, our airline in, our milk line. We need to thread through, put it through this hole right here, right beside. Thread it through. Lots of holes in there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back. We're going to go inside here now and hook, finish hooking up the shuttle. Okay, now we want to hook the finish hooking the sampler up. So what we do is we've opened this valve by hitting shut on the computer on the screen. We'll feed the milk line through. Add our piece. Pull the plug, which these ones can be fairly tough. Plug it in, and now we're ready for sampling. Now that we've turned the sampling on at the main computer, we come back out. What, we're what we gotta do now is we gotta add the tray. Sometimes this happens where this doesn't get highlighted. So what we'll actually do is we'll actually close out of this and then we'll go back in to box ID. You see how add tray is now highlighted. So we'll hit add tray, sample tray number one. Hit okay. There we go. Now you can see that it's, it's all ready to go. Uh, position zero of 60. And now the cow comes back in, we'll hit automatic mode, allowing the cows to come back in, and it'll start sampling.